Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sean, and today we got to talk about this story about View host Sonny Hostin, who recently discovered, although she should not be surprised about this in any way, shape, or form, that she, the queen of demanding reparations, Miss I'm a Black Female, Strong Black Woman, in reality and actuality, descends from slave owners, not from slaves, and the fact that she's having a complete and total meltdown about the situation. Now, we're going to get into this. We're going to laugh about this. I'm going to explain this in great detail, how stupid Sonny Hostin actually is for not realizing this, that this was not only extraordinarily possible, but extraordinarily likely. But before I do, I want to thank everybody who signed up over at actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Oh, give me the money. Give you, give me the money, okay? And thank you to the podcast listeners, Spotify, Apple, and Google's podcasting platform. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything better than that uncomfortable, awkward laugh? Is there anything more enjoyable than that level of cringe in a single moment? There are a few things that will age better than this. Fine wines, cheese, but in reality, in actuality, what Sonny Hostin said before that uncomfortable, awkward laugh is insanely stupid and ridiculous. She's like, I always thought of my half being half Puerto Rican. I didn't realize that they were from Spain, which really begs the question for Sonny Hostin, which is where did she think the Spanish language originated from? I got news for you. Just like French originates from France, Spanish originates from Spain. By the way, English, if you're not aware, Sonny, originates from England. That that tends to be how it works if you're not following this particularly well. And obviously, in the Caribbean, in Cuba, in Puerto Rico, and whatnot, the slave trade was quite prominent. In fact, per capita, it was probably more prominent than it was in the United States of America. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was... Uh... My family was originally from Spain. Yet this complete and utter doofus, this supposedly well-educated attorney, is shocked by the fact that she would have the DNA of Spanish slave owners on the side that she always assumed to be Puerto Rican. Now, this is absurd in every possible way. I'm half Irish and half Puerto Rican. If I have either slave or slave owner DNA in my system, it's going to more likely come from my Puerto Rican side rather than the Irish side, because based on the history of when Irish people came to the United States of America, when my family in particular came to the United States of America, it would be wildly unlikely for them to be slave owners. But what I found out was that my mother's family, while um, they are Puerto Rican, they actually originate from Spain. And the reason that they moved to Puerto Rico is because the slave trade mm -hmm. had been sort of canceled in Spain and then Curacao, and then they moved all of their slaves to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And so the, biz the family business, I have been told that they were printers and journalists, but they were in fact enslavers. <laughs> yeah. But Sonny believes everything is a black and white issue. And because she is mixed race, she does that thing that a lot of people who are half black often do, which is go super hard into the ultra I'm pro black and I hate white people camp. So she is shocked and chagrined that the transatlantic slave trade actually had more destinations than just the United States of America and the evil white supremacy that was here and in reality was more prominent in Latin America in places like the Caribbean also in Brazil and other parts of South America and that to me is just a chef's kiss because all of this is rooted in ignorance. All of this is rooted in honestly centering American history above everything while they say, oh, we're so Amero or Western centric. But in reality, in actuality, these people don't know anything. And it's hilarious to see them on full display confronted with the awkward, uncomfortable truth when they base their whole life around how they're victims, their ancestors are victims, and you need to pay money to them based on their ancestors being victims. Well, guess what, Sonny? You're the perpetrator. 
You're the criminal. You're the slaver based on your own logic where we deny linear time and we pretend that people who never own slaves owe money to people who never were slaves based on the fact that their origin point or the origin of their ancestors are somewhat responsible for it. Well, your ancestors are responsible for it. So haha, laugh awkwardly while we all laugh sincerely in your face. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just... Um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, and I think it's great for our children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could tell this is insanely uncomfortable for her. Just look at her face. Seriously, look at her face throughout the course of this interview. She thought that she was going to get the ultimate platinum victim card, that her family members were raked out of Africa by evil white racists with their evil white racism, put in chains, and that she is entitled to the money of poor white people across the United States of America, despite the fact that she's a millionaire and this hurts it stings she's trying to find some level of consolation and guess what what she'll likely find is that her husband is also descendant from slavers because that's how it works in the united states of america you tend to be more likely to have slave owner dna if you're a minority if you're a black person than if you're a white person and this is based largely on the distribution of people throughout this country on top of that if you trace back your african origin you're more likely than not to find out that you come from a people who sold people into the transatlantic slave trade rather than just innocent victim angels that didn't have any impact on anything and white people just came and ruined their lives. This is the reality. It's slapping her cold in the face and it's absolutely hilarious and considering that I am half Puerto Rican, likely the black part that's mixed somewhere in there is descended from slaves. I want my reparations from Sonny Hostin, the evil white racist who enslave people it's in her dna and we deny linear time so give me the money wait 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 anna get out here go go, go. Oh, give me the money give you give me the money okay to know this information um i guess it's a fact of life that uh this is how some people made their living on the backs of others yeah, it's just a fact of life that this is just how not some people made their living, but how Sonny Hostin's family made their living, how they built their generational wealth, how her ancestors came to prominence, what she did, because again, we believe in ancestral guilt, according to Sonny Hostin, so how dare you, Sonny, profit off of slavery, still not acknowledge your white privilege, and the way that you've been benefited from the enslavement of African peoples. You disgust me, you're disgusting, shame on you let's ring the bell like we did for cersei lannister because you're absolutely ridiculous and absurd in every possible way now after this video came out a lot of people were making similar commentary to what i'm making right now they mocked her some of them didn't bother to go into the origins of how people in puerto rico and in cuba and in latin america came to be and why this was most likely to be true despite the fact that sonny hostin is completely ignorant of that reality of that history but Sonny got a little bit upset when she go on the view and she realized that people were going to keep dogging her about this and she had a little bit of a mini meltdown and it's also hilarious is there no Puerto Rican in there at all no I, I have seven percent seven percent indigenous but the thing about Puerto Rico is Puerto Rico Puerto Ricans are are Spanish, Spanish. they're Native American and they're yeah, African right. and so my family just happens to have a, more of the um well, you know, they, funny, how the does conquerors. this change you, though? You mentioned your mom was upset and this was shocking and maybe deep down you kind of resisted it. How has this changed you knowing what you're hearing now? You know, I think at first I was deeply disappointed. Um, the I slave still, thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. So what I love about this is that Sonny Hostin says that her mood when she was confronted with this was disappointed, meaning that she wanted wished for, prayed for her ancestors to be the victims of slavery, not the perpetrators of enslavement, which just goes to show you where the more privileged, desirable position is in current year in modern America. She is upset that her family wasn't enslaved. She is upset that she can't prove victimization in her line through slavery. That's what's bothering her. That's what's hurting her. Again, this is a complete mental illness on full 
display. She wants her ancestors to have suffered so she can have greater leverage in modern political context, which just goes to show you it is an advantage to be able to claim that your ancestors were enslaved by the evil white man. Again, her own words betray her. Her own words show where this country is right now and where she believes it is right now and the fact that it is preferable for her for her ancestors to be victims because being a victim is the best place to be in the United States of America because it allows you to escape accountability. But unfortunately for Sonny, her family were a group of dirty slavers, dirty Spaniard slavers who enslaved people and it's horrible and disgusting. And again, I'm waiting for my reparations check, Sonny. Give me the money. I will give me the money. Give you, give me the money. Okay. And I can't control and, and it. I, I still believe, I know, but I still I believe in reparations, like, by the whoa. way, so y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. <laughs> That's, I still believe uh, that, someone did that to Nobody should stop doing that. You were in favor of a policy because you thought you weren't going to be entitled to checks. You're already a millionaire. You already lived an insanely privileged life. You already were an attorney. You're on television. And yet you demand money from average, everyday, hardworking white people that had no impact on your life at all whatsoever, never held you back, never held your family members as slaves. And then it turns out, in a beautiful irony, something that is picturesque and perfect, that your family were actually slave owners. The reason you're here is due to slavery. So yeah, you're not entitled to reparations at all whatsoever. You never were, but even under your own definition, now you're entitled to pay them. So again, write the check, Sonny. Go pay the money, Sonny. Go use your newfound white guilt in order to support black and brown people. Yeah. I don't know who sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's, it's, it's too much, people. But uh, no, it's not too much. And by the way, you look at Sonny Hostin, you know for a fact that she is mixed. You know there's a significant amount of white in her. We all understand this. They just cut to Whoopi Goldberg. Just look at the variance in skin tone. Sonny has a bunch of white people features that she inherited from Spain that I'm sure she is quite happy about. And now, all of a sudden, when she realizes that she also inherited the burden of paying reparations, all of a sudden, it's upsetting. It's hurt and people are mad at the fact that they're pointing out that she according to her own ideology owes money owes reparations by the way this also shows the truth of the point that people have been making about the stupid reparations debate all along is that determining who pays and who gets the money as a recipient is something that is incredibly complicated, ridiculous, and absurd. Because here you have Sonny Hawson, who thought she was going to get a check, who wanted welfare despite the fact that she was a millionaire, realizing that she is actually descendants from the perpetrators of this historic crime that she's talking about, not the victims, and yet she still is likely to get money in the way that they're going to construct this reparations program, and she still supports it based on that fact. But in reality, they should take the money from her. They should decide how much Spaniard DNA she has, which by the way is going to be a lot, likely more than 50%, and then they should take the money from her equivalent to that and give it to poor people who descended from slaves, and yes, I'm including the people who look way whiter than her that are now entitled to her money based on her ideology. I, I, I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. Um, but what I will say, Sarah, to your question is that I feel that um, I'm enriched by knowing that history. So Sonny's like, oh, I still believe in reparations. I'm still stupid. Let's be clear about that. I'm still an idiot. I still advocate for insane asinine policies. Make no mistake about it. But don't worry, guys. Even though I was shocked and even though I was humiliated publicly and I laughed uncomfortably and I thought this was going to enhance my victim status and all it did was undercut it, I, I also have a lesson days later that I learned from this situation that I want to give to kind of give a positive spin on this because honestly, I got nothing. I'm in a put pathetic position right now that I put myself in based on what I base my whole life about. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson, but believe me, nobody's going to believe what she's going to say next. I, I'm enriched and I'm enriched by knowing that my family 
has come so far from being enslavers to my mother marrying my father in 1968. Well, yeah, that's right. I feel enriched. Yeah, sure. So now she says she's enriched by the history of her family. She's enriched by it. She's so proud of her family for going so far, and her mother ultimately ended up marrying her father, a black person, in 1968, and that wipes everything clean. Isn't that interesting that she says that everything gets wiped clean for her family, for her line, in 1968, but the United States of America, who, by the way, didn't have a slave trade that goes back as far as her family's Spanish slave trade because the country didn't even exist then, their slate is never white clean. They never did nothing. I mean, they married Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012, but that doesn't count because Sonny Hostin still thinks that she could weasel her way into getting a check right here. But let's be real. Let's be honest. Sonny, you were not enriched by this. You were made incredibly uncomfortable on national television, and I have your face to prove it to the world. Wow. I'm 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 in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was uh my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that is not the laugh of enrichment. That is the laugh of somebody who's embarrassed, somebody who's humiliated, and deservedly so. The reason I am so happy about this, the reason I'm smiling so much, is because nobody on The View deserves this more than Sonny Hawson. Sonny Hawson tries to get black criminals out of prison who are clearly and obviously guilty. She attacks white people on the regular, and always she uses uses the sins of people who happen to be white in the past as her justification only for us to discover that her family is down with the slavers they they slay they enslave people that that's what the hostins do that's what her family line does so that's what they're known for being enslavers enslaving africans is sonny hostin's new brand and again i'm waiting for the check send the check to the victims of your family sonny Let, let's get on that oh, give me the money Give you, give me the money, okay? <laughs> yeah. Now look, the story's just funny, pure and simple. I try to add some educational elements to it for you guys out there in the audience, but the real reason I'm covering it is pure 100% entertainment value, and I appreciate Sonny Hostin for embarrassing herself for my entertainment and now for all of your entertainment. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you liked this video, then show them by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on my social media, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about Sonny Hostin being a slaver. Till next time.